All right, so uh, this is, um, okay, uh, starting off just completing the uh, the 7-8 offsuit here. Um, certainly optional, but um, I just like to see slops really cheaply with kind of okay-ish hands. Um, you know, there are, there are a couple of things that you can do post-flop to, you know, to take the pot down. I think it's fine. Certainly optional, wouldn't fault anyone for folding there. Uh, but this uh, this session was played during the day UK time. Uh, the tables I found were um, relatively tricky. Um, there weren't really there were there were obviously you know your standard soft spots uh, at the table, which I would certainly expect um, uh, at twenty five no limit. Uh, but you know some some pretty reggy kind of tables. Um, definitely uh, you know pretty representative of what I would um, think that would be like a, a regular kind of game. Um, but I didn't have any reads on anyone. This is literally the very beginning of the session. Um, and so, uh, you know, hopefully we can go through together and establish some, establish some reads on, on some, some various players. You notice that I'm, I'm folding 5-7 offsuit here on the button. Uh, typically, I, I would have, you know, in, in times gone by, I would have raised uh, this hand. I would have raised 100% on the button. Um, I've been sort of shying away from that a bit more. I've been trying to play a little bit... Um, a little bit better, even even for you guys, even you know in the videos that I'm playing, um, just not playing junk cards. Uh, you can see they're folding queen jack on the button to an early raise. Um, just playing a little bit more snug, a uh, little bit more sort of um, sort of by the by the book. And I found it's it's fun. It's definitely helped me to uh, you know to stay in stay out of some you know some dodgy situations and just kind of keep it simple and keep my plays um, keep my plays sort of strong at all times. Uh, this jack four suited here. I'm lining up a three bet um this is uh in line with what i was talking about uh at the beginning of the video i'm just trying to put in a three bet here because i i do believe that it's plus ev um because i think that he'll fold often enough but i think actually what i did um with this three bet i think i made it too small uh and that's because i've been playing a ton of different limits uh through coaching and making videos and stuff so i've been playing like 10 10 dollar no limit 25 50 100 200 i've been playing all kinds of different limits uh, so I wasn't actually immediately sure what the sizing should be. So I, I think I made it 225, which is not good. Um, should be at least like 275 to 3 would probably be better. Okay, 275. Okay, that's all right. Um, certainly not disastrous. Um, and basically, I'm doing this because I think that he'll fold often enough to um, make it plus EV in a vacuum. And if he does flat call, there are lots of things that I can do post-flop uh, to try and take the hand away from him. Um, I do have a little bit of high card strength and obviously some playability with the uh, with the fact that my hand is suited. Um, but you know, it's it's a very very light three bet. Um, certainly certainly optional. Um, wouldn't fault anyone for just folding the jack four there. But I decided that because it was early on in the session, I wanted to put some moves on and um, establish who was doing what and uh, what I could get away with. And you know, I get immediately three bet. Sorry, four bet. Um, I don't really put any kind of. Uh, I, I don't really need to make any kind of a read um, on this four, but it's quite simple that I just have jack four and I, and I have to fold. Um, I don't know if this guy maybe knows my screen name um, and I'm really not thinking about it. All I'm trying to do is just establish uh, establish a bit of an image and uh, use these hands that I'm that I'm losing uh, to then play well um, to play well later. 